Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how I um, do my, I'm going to say vase. I sell them as vases. So to start, because I have not found an adapter that really works for these yet, I just literally use a ton of tape. Just green painter's tape. Any tape will probably do. Um, and then you want to make sure that you have a really snug fit. That way you can keep it level and you don't have to worry about it falling. So I am going to go prep this and then I will be right back. Okay, I'm back and here we have the prepped base. Um, and I have taped off the rim. It's really um, personal preference to me. Some people don't like the epoxy touching their lips. They say it's, you know, unhealthy, not good for you, dangerous, toxic, all that stuff. But really, I wouldn't think it's any different than drinking out of your tumbler without a lid. But anyway, I use automotive primer. It works really well, in my opinion. All right, so all I did was spray this with white primer and taped off the rim. And we are going to be using Pink and Purple Monkey's Platinum Diamond. can see this one. Pink and Purple Monkeys Pearly Gates. And then the Inspired Angels Tootsie Roll. So I'm going to go paint the top of my vase gold and I will be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. So I ended up painting the top a tan instead of gold. So um, anyway, I mixed, you only need about 5 mLs, less than 5 mLs for this because we are going to do the thinnest layer of epoxy before we put on our platinum diamond from Pink and Purple Monkey and our pearly gates from Pink and Purple Monkey. So um, I used CC DIY Fast Set. So I'm just going over this, spreading it, making sure I cover all of it without putting too much. My Turner arms are different on a couple of my Turners. They're all from BJ Turners. Brian and Jennifer make the best turners. Um, I've been using them since I started using motorized tumblers. And I, and the whole time I have, I think it's 23 now total. I, I can turn 23 tumblers at a time with their turners of various sizes. And I've had one motor go out in like two, two and a half years now, I think. Something like that. Um, this was supposed to be a live video, but since I have the electrician coming for a rental today, last minute, on a Saturday even, that's living in a small town, um, I decided to try to put the video together for you guys so you could at least have it. Once I'm sure that I have a good, nice, even, thin, thin layer all over this, and I do all the way around um, where the stem goes, because I use a drop-in stem and it, the epoxy doesn't touch it, so it never really gets heated. I also prefer to do these on the vases that have an ice catch, just to keep it extra cool. I know that the epoxy isn't getting heated enough to be toxic. Okay, so once you have it coated, I'm going to grab a piece of paper. And I like to start with my lightest color first. So I'm going to use the pearly gates. I'm going to start at the bottom.
Make sure I get it all. And then I'm going to slowly go up. And then about a quarter inch from where the white ends, I slow down, make sure I get it all the way around there. And then I go back up to that the edge of where I stopped and I sprinkle super lightly. I take it a little bit into the tan, not too much. Turn it around so you can see. Towards the tan, I get really, really light. Okay, and then I'm going to switch out my glitter. And then we are going to use platinum diamonds. And same thing, I start at the I start at the top instead of the bottom. And I go down to about a quarter inch from where the white starts to bleed into the tan. Make sure I get all this area good. Make sure when you epoxy, you get it inside the ice catch holes. And then again, we'll just lightly sprinkle down a little bit into that where that white is. Make sure you get both sides of the stem. I know the one side's a little tricky to get. And then I will show you guys what that looks like. So here is our first layer. And I'll only do one layer of glitter on this, you guys. Um, if you spray paint with a coordinating color and use high quality glitters, do you guys want to see this with flash? It'll be crazy. Look at all that sparkle. So high quality glitter is key. You use, it, it seems more expensive, but just like laundry detergent, you use less of it. And it's beautiful. Don't worry about inside the stem. Um, we will get that cleaned out after we do the next coat of epoxy. And then I wash these really, really well before they go out. So once this is done, we'll come back and I'm going to put a layer of epoxy and then we'll do cheetah spots. Um, I cheat with my cheetah spots because for some reason I cannot get the black edge down to save my life. So I use vinyl for the black and then glitter for inside of it. But I still think it's going to be super cute. So today we are doing part two of our glitter base. So I already, I thought about it after my last live video and I was like, it would be silly to come back and just epoxy this. So I went ahead and put the epoxy over the glitter already and sanded. So if you guys can see I epoxied and sanded this after we glittered it. That way we can move into the next step. So just like with your tumblers when you mix your epoxy, for this you just want to do a nice even layer. Just to make the um, glitter smooth. Okay, and then I told you guys that I cheat. So I have a sheet of spots 
that I've cut out with just regular black permanent vinyl. And then I am going to place them over the gold. I'm going to leave the white empty. So I'm going to start, I just take a little piece of transfer tape and pick up a spot or two and I start placing them on. You guys can see that. And there's no rhyme or reason to how I place the spots. I just do it until I think it looks good. Okay, so then when you're happy with your spots, I think sometimes I put too many because I just don't like the spaces. Okay, so I'm going to call it good on the black spots, I think. And then I'll take it off and show you guys. Alright, so if you guys can see, and then we are going to do the spots, Tootsie Roll from the Inspired Angels. And this is my favorite chocolate brown. So when I apply these inside the spots, I use Mod Podge. And whenever I use Mod Podge underneath a glitter, I try to mix a little bit of acrylic paint into the Mod Podge. It really helps with hiding any imperfections or whatever. So I ended up using Chocolate Bar, which this is also the color I use for my um, North Pole mugs for the hot chocolate drip. I think it's the best. So then we're just going to use just a regular little paintbrush nothing fancy we're gonna dip it in the Mod Podge and then let me okay and then I just try to dab it because you don't want to get it up onto the black vinyl if you can help it so if you just dab it and use the paintbrush to spread it And then you don't have to um, glitter it after each spot, but Ooh. I'm going to take it off the turner for this, I guess. Might make it easier. Okay, so then you're just going to keep dabbing the paint inside the spots. If you do get it on the black, it's really not a big deal. You can scrape it off before you epoxy. And you don't want it to be too thick because you want it to dry fairly quickly. And I mixed a ton of acrylic paint and Mod Podge. You only need a tiny bit. So then I just tap it on the bottom a little bit, I blow it on it, um, okay. So I'll blow it off, and then I will stick this in my dryer and um, dry the Mod Podge even quicker. So we are going to, you want to make sure that your Mod Podge is dry. Okay, so I just used this like bristly brush. It came in like one of my super cheap paint packs from Walmart, I think. And after the Mod Podge is dry, I use this to just brush off the excess. Because it really likes to stick onto the black vinyl. I like to make sure it's super good before I seal it. Some people don't seal it once they get all the glitter off, but I've had too much shift even after brushing it. So I like to brush it off. And then one mistake I made on my last one was I didn't go through and get it 
off the black spots. So I had little bits of brown glitter or pink glitter on it. So I'm just going to use the tip of my finger and some rubbing alcohol to brush along on the, the black vinyl just lightly to get any little brown pieces of glitter off. And then be really careful that you don't like shred your paper towel on the spots like I just did. If you can see right here, I have to pick out. So now I'm going to scrape this out of here. So I'm going to seal this one time with Rust-Oleum Triple Thick Glaze. And then I will epoxy it. It's going to make my store stink, but I will just do it right here so you guys can see. Okay, so then I'm going to brush it one more time just to be safe. Okay, so this is what it looks like after we brush it all off. Okay, so Krylon, I, th I think I said Rust-Oleum earlier, it is definitely Krylon, triple thick crystal clear glaze. And I'm just going to do a light coat over the, the glitter spots. Okay, and then while this is drying, I am going to work on taking off the tape. I like to use electrical tape so that I can kind of pull it like this because then I'm going to go through with a hot knife to cut off the excess epoxy up there. You have to be really careful because if you don't take the tape off, you know, after it's been spinning for like 30 minutes or whatever, you could easily break the seal. Okay. So I just use these, um, I buy like a whole thing of, I buy 30 at a time, and these like the blades just snap off after you heat them too much, so you can just keep using them until you can't anymore. Alright, so I just put out some of my blade, and then I use a propane torch. I'm going to heat up the blade. And then I'm going to, I kind of have to hold it by me, so let me, I go along the edge of it like this first and trim off the big lip excess. And I just continue that all the way around. You want to make sure that you do this before your final coat of epoxy. Okay, so after you cut the big lip off, it'll look like this. I know it's kind of ugly, um, but you're going to go over it again. So I heat this up a little bit more, and then I'm going to go along the bottom. But if you're really confident in yourself, you can do this. You can just skip straight to this step. But I've always I've learned the hard way that once you cut it off, you can't put it back. So I like to do it in sections, slowly. So then once you have it edged... We're going to tape it again. Okay, so I like to use electrical tape. I use packing tape when I can't find my electrical tape. But electrical tape is flexible, which around the lip of the bong is perfect. Because it will bend under... And then on the final coat of epoxy, I'll probably take the tape off before I leave work tonight. So I'll leave here at like 5-ish, maybe, maybe 6, and I'll peel the tape off before I leave. 
just so that it's a nice smooth finish tomorrow. Okay, so then once it's taped, it should look like this. You want to have that little edge right there so that the epoxy can seal where you cut. Again, you could avoid that if you take off your tape when you're supposed to. Um, so I am going to use stealing my kit's magnet resin because it's small and easy to tote around. We are going to mix equal parts of A and B. I think I normally mix... I'm going to mix 25 mLs. It's probably way too much, but I can't remember. And I know a lot of people use two cups. They like measure by weight. They do all this fancy stuff. It's <clears throat> I literally pour in. I you always pour part A first. Since it's it's thicker, it's like harder to judge how much you actually pour. I pour part A first. And I'm gonna try to get this to a three line. Okay, and then equal parts. So equal parts of A, equal parts B. B I always pour second because it's thinner as long as you pour slow. You can normally get it right exactly to where you need it. Which in my instance is six drams. Okay, so once you have it mixed thoroughly, make sure you're scraping the sides, scraping the bottom, mixing well. Okay, I'm going to grab some pearl mica really quick. For the pearl, we are going to use um, Pink and Purple Monkey's Pina Colada. And then I'm just going to use this little wooden stick, put a little bit in the cup, not a lot. And I'll probably mix like 5 mLs, I'll pour 5 mLs in with the, the pearl. So now we are going to coat this in our epoxy. And we want to do a little bit of a thick layer because we want it to swirl a bit down on the bottom. You also want to make sure that your um, clear coat is dry. Don't forget to get inside the ice catch with your epoxy, those little holes. Really make sure you get this bottom edge. So you don't want to use too much epoxy that it creates waves and drips off when you heat it. So I'm just going to put a little bit more on. Make sure my holes are good. Make sure around where the stem goes is good. One more time, lightly go over it with my finger. Alright, so I'm going to start drizzling the white on in strips. Or the pearl, I mean, not white. You guys, if you try this and they fall off your turner, they break, if they just don't turn out how you thought they would, don't feel bad. My first tries were not always perfect either. I mean, they're still not perfect, obviously, but 
I'm going to bring it a little bit into the tan. I'm going to get it on the base too without getting it in my hair. Okay, so I'm going to use my torch to, this is how I pop my air bubbles. I know some people do not agree with this method. I know some people like alcohol. I liked the rubbing alcohol when I could get 91%, but since I can't get anything over 80% right now, um, I've been using my torch and honestly, it's it's been a lot better. So I'm just going to go over it quickly, evenly. You don't want to heat it too much or you will ruin your epoxy. So. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what it is looking like. And then, like I said before, guys, inside of this, um, we'll clean that out when we're all done. Tomorrow I'll put one more coat of epoxy over this and then it will be ready to go. Yesterday we finished off um, adding the spots and epoxying this. Today I wanted to show you guys, I told you not to worry about the inside of this, that we would get it cleaned up. Um, as long as you're careful when you epoxy, no epoxy gets in here. So this is just a little bit of overspray and glitter that's kind of stuck in there. So what I do is I get... <laughs> I just take a little razor blade and I go along the inside edge. Um, if you do get a little bit of epoxy inside of here, like around the lip on the inside, just heat your knife and same thing, just scrape it along the inside edge. Be careful obviously because this is glass. Okay, so then we are going to grab a paper towel um, a little bit of acetone. Again, I just use this gallon of acetone that I get through Napa. And then carefully, you don't want to get it all over the epoxy on the outside, so carefully just take your finger, stick it inside. I do that a couple of times. Some paint is harder to get out than others. Um, I use automotive primer, and sometimes getting it off of something you don't want it on can be difficult because it is a very strong primer. Okay, so you just I stuff it in and twirl it around a little bit. And then as you guys see, it all wipes out. And 
because it is clear glass you can see on the inside it looks like there's primer and paint but that's just um, because the glass is see-through but um, we already took care of the rim but before this goes out I'll just show you really quick I use these they are 75% alcohol um, these ones I left open so they're a little dry so I'll just add a little bit of alcohol to them but I wipe down everything before it goes out and just to, as cleanup you know I go through I clean all the little crevices I wipe it down wipe the mouth But here we have our Leopard Milky Way vase, or cheetah, I'm not even sure. I can't tell my spots apart, you guys. So this I will sand um, if the customer wants their name on the base. I will add the name to the base and then I will do the final coat of epoxy. It's already pretty smooth. Um, but it could use one more coat in my opinion. So if you like um, tutorials like these, make sure you subscribe because we will be posting a lot more videos in the coming weeks. And I cannot wait to share them with you guys. So make sure you subscribe and have a great day.